Hello world, we are back with some more Let's Play Deja Vu, now at part 9. Alright. Okay, we just picked up some new stuff, so let's look at it. Almost. Yay. Alright, what do we got? It's an IOU. It says Ace Harding owes Joey Siegel $1,000. You can't recall having written anything like this. Well, that's looking more toward the framed scenario that I posited after seeing uh, that note in our office. It's the trunk key to a Mercedes Benz. Hey, this is handy because there's a lady in the trunk, as we learned on that map, which now that I think about it, with notes scrawled all over it about avoiding the cops, sounds an awful lot like a setup as well. Let's go check into it, what do you say? Please don't be a mugger here. See with that mugger, you can like, you can deal with him a couple of times, um, but then after a while you can't, you can't fight him off anymore and he'll, he'll basically kill you, so that's bad. Anyway, we didn't see him, so life's good. Let's open this trunk. Alright. Damn, there was no click when it opened. And that is a large woman bound and gagged in the trunk. Let's see what the game has to say about this. Wow, that's not even polite. It's the biggest woman you've ever seen in your life. She appears to be unconscious. She's gagged and her hands and feet are tied. She's a real tub of lard? Really? This is just offensive. Anyway, we've never seen her before. Which also brings the idea that we probably didn't kidnap her since we didn't... I can't open her mouth. How do I... Take? Gag? Maybe? Here we go. Take the gag. Alright. Anyway, sounds a lot like a setup now, because we've never seen her, so we didn't kidnap her. She can't say anything to you while she's unconscious. Uh, that's because we need to use, um, that one medicine. The game gets this wrong, interestingly. Sodium pentothal, while possibly a truth, truth serum because it makes it harder to lie, does not let you talk to unconscious pe people. But, oh well, it's a nice, nice little trick, so I won't complain. Put the thaw in the capsule. Great. Now use the capsule on woman. Sodium pentothal takes effect. The woman starts babbling. Take me home. Please. Sorry. Take me home. Please take me home. 626 Auburn Road. Take me there. She stops talking falling back into complete unconsciousness. Alright. Well, we're gonna leave you here now. We're not taking you anywhere. Partly because that car will explode if we try to take it anywhere. So, let's go. That is the wrong direction. Let's get out of here. Okay. Police stations are not our friend right, right now. So basically, what we need to do now is somehow prove that we didn't do it. Because, you know, we, we didn't do it. <coughs> Alright, more taxi cab action. Let's go, drive driver. Auburn Road. Uh-huh, we owe you money. I know. We always owe you, owe you money. Man, and I forgot to look at what time I started recording again. I really need to start paying attention to that. And we're getting low on coins, just four more cab rides. I think that's enough, though. Alright, you're by a large estate. It looks like Terra from Gone with the Wind. It really doesn't, but okay. Um, check out this mailbox action. 
It's a mailbox. Yeah. Okay. Just hoping for a little more detail than that. All right. Open envelope. Do. Open the envelope. Do. Letter one. Let's read it. This ransom note reads, Sternwin, we have your wife. You have 24 hours to collect 20,000. If you contact the police, she's dead. Be standing at the corner of Peoria and Elm at exactly 12 midnight. Have the ransom in a briefcase. There you'll be contacted with further instructions. Okay. That's cool. On the upside, she hasn't died yet. So I guess that works in our favor. In the meantime, let's go inside. You're at the front door of the mansion. The door has a huge knocker on it. Makes me think of uh, Young Frankenstein. What knockers? Thank you, Dr. Frankenstein. Anyway, great, great film. You wrap the knocker against the door. Wow. Hello, American Gothic. The butler explains that he has stripped.